one thing before this review starts, I haven't made a, a videos in a couple weeks, sorry about that. I saw some movies, didn't really care for them, didn't really want to do reviews for them, That's, and I'm just lazy. The only movie I actually saw that I actually enjoyed was Dirty Grandpa, but I didn't feel the need to review that. So, um, now let's review Kung Fu Panda 3. So, Kung Fu Panda 3 is obviously the third movie in the Kung Fu Panda trilogy now, which they're planning three more, so that's cool. And this time around, Poe's father has come back, and they have like a family reunion thing. And um, he takes them to this panda village, um, where there are a bunch of pandas, and he has to learn how to be a panda again, while also mastering the art of chi. And um, there's a new villain on the rise named Kai, who's like a spirit type um, guy, it's, and voiced by um, J.K. Simmons, and that is our plot in a nutshell. So I'm going to let you know right now. I love Kung Fu Panda. I have a bunch of toys. Love Kung Fu Panda. And I even have the movies, obviously. And I love these movies. I've watched them many times. And I thought Kung Fu Panda 3 brought this um, franchise full circle. I really like this movie. It is a great family movie. It's a great um, movie about, yeah, family and how uh, having more than one father can affect you and it was brilliant and I thought the villain played by, um, or voiced by J.K. Simmons Kai was fantastic I loved this theme the score of the movie by Hans Zimmer is great um, the voice cast is obviously great Jack Black is fantastic J.K. Simmons is awesome Dustin Hoffman and Julian and Julie everyone's everyone's top notch um, once again and the action sequences are actually quite intense at points and it's a very fast-paced movie, and the animation is gorgeous. I love the animation of this movie. The characters are fantastic. Poe's still that lovable panda, but he also has to learn something new, like he does in every movie, and he, he um, keeps what he's learned in the past, and I love that about this movie. And um, the last movie as well. And while I don't think this is my favorite Kung Fu Panda movie, it's still a great entry to the franchise. While I do think it can be a little predictable um, here and there, like in terms of how it is it kind of concludes I saw that coming for the most part I mean there's one thing I didn't see coming with the ending kind of and how this whole final battle um, story based battle takes place um, and I didn't expect that but I expect the, expected the ending it had and I don't mind that at all it's perfectly fine these movies aren't I, this particular one isn't absolutely amazing but I had a great time with it so I'm gonna give Kung Fu Panda 3 a B plus Alright, so that's my review of Kung Fu Panda 3. I'll do more reviews. I mean, I, ha I saw like the fifth wave and crap. I'm not going to do reviews for those. Didn't like it. So I'm just going to skip that and move into February, where next review should be Hail Caesar, I believe. I think I'm going to go to a screening of that on Tuesday. So look forward to that. And I have my Batman Arkham series reviews coming up for the games. And more reviews. So yeah, <laughs> peace.